going to make a bigger difference uh, once he starts doing yeah, this. Especially if EGM can get this Fissure, Dendi in a little bit of trouble. That Poison attack, it should be enough. He's going to come into the Fog of War, and they can't see him. Yeah, and that gets first blood to Team Marino, Team Carino. So it was a little bit problematic for him, but again, they're looking towards that mid Dendi. Pycat doing such a great job of harassing him down, and Dendi's plasma field isn't keeping up with this kind of harassment. And now, well, they need some more movements be here on EGM. The Fissure will connect, and this could be a second kill now. Going the way of Team Rio and Tinkerino. The plasma field damage was nice, and Funnic with the Hater, and he'll come in for a revenge kill. A quick battery is sold in through the side, and now he is. So Bulba gets sold up in the jungle, but Funnic, does he get himself out of this one scot free? Yes, Pycat's moving up. And he does have ultimate available, but Funic with those phase boots, he's got the movement speed on him, and EGM needs to actually stun, and he missed the first one. Okay. He doesn't get the fissure block off. The creep wave will be here, and he can slow him down here, but then again, Funic, there goes your phase boots again. Slug gets the leash on him into the cogs, trying to keep EGM out. The fissure will be cast, but you've also brought Coin for in to make sure this clockwork does go down. After he gets a solo kill, in fact, they bring all five heroes into mid. Yeah. Another one? Yeah, another one. <laughs> Oh, EGM, the rocket's gonna scout him. He's still got hookshot available, just holding EGM inside the cogs. He can't get the fissure down. The attack animation's too long in between the box oh, and the cogs. And that's a very weird, wild hookshot coming out. The ulti from Pycat should be able to tick out the ancient right, apparition. Yeah, yeah. Well, then again, Pycat will lose his own life. Navi support came in very quickly too, and they bring all five heroes into the mid. As now there's a quick ping. He, know, he knows what he wants to go for, but they need more help. Venscore, he's got swap, but remember, this is level one. This isn't enough to really make a play. And what vision does Team Arena and Tinkerino have? They don't even see the three Na'Vi heroes on the high ground. So Blink, Crush, the Fissure, they're waiting for it. Now we'll come down. The Empire is already over on Pycat with the Wave of Terror. Negative six on the armor, and then he's still have the damage, but then Slada, he'll be the sacrificial lamb here. The Bouncing Cast does go down to Dendi. Uses his one charge, it's already coined for the back into that Dark Pack, trying to get that extra spill damage. The swap out from Vanscore, and he'll be the one to get leashed out, allowing Dendi to try and turn. The Fissure will hold him out for Bulma. Still gonna go down the Razor, need more damage. Nine life points, Funny comes in, gets the perfect hookshot and quite fun. Hookshot, but he's got the range. That's the hookshot you're seeing right there. And into the choke point, he can easily jump up. But EGM, there's your jump. Yes, he went through the force. Managed to catch out Sing Sing, but the all the way he got crushed up. He held, held in position. The dead wall will drop him. He needs to get himself further away. It's currently two for the price of one. And as Pycat wants to go further, the Vortex and Cold feet Pycat, he's going to be careful, Slada's coming back in again, the Bleed Egg is available, more importantly, the double stun over on Pycat for Koifa, the damage, he turns into Slada, but it's too much damage coming out from Denny, double kill for him, five heroes lost for Team Marino, Tinkerino. Okay, you know you what? You got a hunt squad, EGM's got free gold, uh, FNG, there's no way for him to survive this one, <laughs> okay, EGM. <laughs> Maybe he thought if he went for the Enchant Totem, oh. he wouldn't have got it off in time. Now Vanscore stuns over on Bulba, but he's here solo. They're going one after the other. He tries to swap to dodge, but Hookshot in, and Slada comes in with a BKB, controlling EGM, while Funic, he's battling up against Sing Sing, the Fissure, but Sing Sing, he's dying the Battery Assault. Koifa's gonna jump in, but Denny, he's still got his ulti and 112 points of stolen damage. Koifa blinks himself away. He ran on the bottom river. Be bottled up by Dendi, and they're gonna go well if, as quickly as they can. I don't know about the timing of this, however. This could be really dangerous. Sentry Wars to drop. EGM's got no way in, but the puck off there. Clockwork hook shots up. He managed to push Koi for back. And EGM, he already used Echo Slam to try and kill off Funnick, but then again, Funnick is quite happy with it. He doesn't have his BKB yet, but the Ice Blast will come in. He's a lot of time. There goes your Ice Blast. All five heroes from Team Tinker getting hit by that. Hook shot up, and well, how far can you keep going? The Slada wants to. He gets a bash over on Bulba. Cancels the Death Wars. There's no bounce out. Funnick might go down. The Aegis the Immortal will be triggered. The ball with the plasma field return damage comes out from Dendi. Four heroes for two. Here comes high ground. He's still got refresher orb available. I think he wants to wait until he might be forced to use the BKB in the town. The town is still quite high. And there goes the BKB into the refresh. EGM caught out by Funnick again with the hook shot. And yep, with the double ult out from Dendi, that's the melee rank's gonna take a fall. However, they need to finish the damage. Koifa jumps in, gets the pounce over on Denny. Slada wants to help now, but Koifa into that BKB with the Death Ward now bouncing around. They stun up Bulba again, but in close range. The Cogs will isolate the Witch Doctor. And the BKB from a Vorst, it will also be triggered. The Ice Blast, where it is from Koifa. He's trying to hide on the edge. It'll connect. I mean, at the same time, Navi doesn't have to rush at all. No. They're still very far ahead, and Roshan is just gonna Nine beat them even more. Oh, they could, they could, they could, they could, they could. Wouldn't say go high ground until you have the advantage in, in yeah. the heroes.
Well, they found one. Hook shot over. They caught out Planet. It was on the clockwork illusions, which, I mean, they caught out Koi, but all the illusions were allowed to see for it. And now Blink up. They're actually going for more. EGS controlled and being bashed up by the BK beat up Slaughter. They swap back Koi for into the cold feet. They need more sun control over on him, and they're going to find it. There's no way out. Two heroes down, and Dandy is just going solo up the mid. <laughs> He's got his double ulti turned on. But at the same time, you have to think about it this way. Browser can just buy back and buy goods as travels and port back in. Eat the dice. And then Sora has ages, so you have to kill the twice. Here they come. Yeah, Dandy, look at that double ulti. They have to fortify EGM. Caught in the tree line, and there goes your dunk. And there is no buyback for that Earthshaker. That might be the game right there as the bottom ranks is fully gone. Vanskull comes in. They get the son of Pycat. And while Pycat, he tries to get himself away, but there's a hook shot up. The two supports are now down for the count as uh, Koifa counts himself in. But the GG call is there. Guys, Game number one call, of our winners bracket please. final will go the way of Navi. With a hero pickup, we don't see a lot. But a really good initiation combo. They had a gem on the Vengeful Spirit, but they had no idea. Then Shaker was uh, he was invis from the Shadow Amulet actually from each doctor. And he was just casually waiting to ult, but well, gem was there. And of course that reveals the uh, the secret, and that now means that Navi is one game up. And we'll see if Team Marino tinkering.